anxiety, and stress are both super high right now. So today, we're going to talk about four herbs that can help you to come back to balance and to relax. Hey tribe, Donna here from Transformational Healing. Last week, we talked about how to make fire cider as a tonic for the balance of our physical body. If you missed that video, you should check it out. I'll link it down below. My goal is to provide you with many ways to stay in balance, whether that is mentally, emotionally, physically, or spiritually. If living a holistic and balanced life interests you, you should subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of the upcoming videos. I don't know about you, but there is a lot of extra stress in my life right now. I have been using both herbs and oils to help me cope and to stay in balance. Today, I would like to share four of those herbs with you. Now, before we go any further, a little disclaimer. I am not a doctor. I cannot and will not diagnose or treat any illnesses, but I will always try to share with you how I myself and my customers and clients and other herbalists and aromatherapists use herbs and oils to help stay in balance or get back into balance. These herbs and oils are not meant to be a substitute for a doctor's care. They are meant to work alongside of your medications. Many herbs and oils do, however, interact with our medications. So please consult your MD or your naturopathic doctor for advice. Let's get to it. Most people have heard that both chamomile and lavender can help with anxiety and stress and even sleep. So I'm going to skip those two today. And please note that these herbs that I will talk about are not in a special order. Number one, lemon balm. Lemon balm, or Melissa officinalis, is part of the mint family. It's named for its lemony aroma and taste. Lemon balm has been used by herbalists and healers for years to help increase calmness, to reduce stress, and to soothe the nervous system. Many drink lemon balm tea to calm their nerves, aid in digestion, relieve menstrual cramps, and to soothe headaches, especially those that are due to stress and tension. It's often added to relaxation teas and teas that promote sleep. Number two, motherwort. Motherwort, or Leonurus cardiaca, is also in the mint family. Its common name, motherwort, refers to the herb's usefulness in the female reproductive system support and hormone balancing. The Latin, or botanical name, refers to how early Greek physicians used this wonderful plant to assist with cardiovascular health. Motherwort is a nervine that is often used to serve to soothe the nervous system and as support during times of stress, overwork, and anxiety. Number three, passion flower. Passion flower, or Passiflora incarnate, is native to the southeastern United States and both Central and South America. It's a climbing vine with an absolutely gorgeous flower. It has traditionally been used by those native to this area as a sedative to aid in relaxation and of course to help with sleep. According to the NIH, the National Institute of Health, Today, passion flower is promoted as a dietary supplement for anxiety and sleep problems, as well as for pain, heart rhythm problems, menopausal symptoms, and attention deficit hyperactive disorder, ADHD. These uses are consistent with how I have experienced passion flower being used by herbalists today. Number four, St. John's wort. St. John's wort, or Hypericum perforatum, Hypericum meaning over a spirit, as it has always been used as a protection herb, 
perforatum for the tiny see-through dots that are seen if you look at the fresh leaves from the underside. This herb blooms around the summer solstice, or some say on September 24th, the feast day of St. John the Baptist. It is said that he used St. John's wort oil to treat the sick. Metaphysically, it is hung in homes as a protection herb and to bring in the sunshine all year round, especially through the winter. Today, St. John's wort is commonly used to help balance our mental and emotional bodies for depression, ADHD, OCD, anxiety, female hormone balancing, and also externally to help with wound healing. It makes a very amazing salve, in my opinion. St. John's wort contains very high levels of hypericin, so please use caution when taking this herb as hypericin is known to cause one to be overly sensitive to the sun and you can very likely get a sunburn. Have you noticed a theme with hormone balancing and the herbs that affect our mental health? This is a common clue for how these herbals can help us. All four of these herbs should be avoided during pregnancy and all can interact with prescription drugs. As I said before, please consult a naturopathic doctor before mixing them in with your prescriptions. I do sell all of these herbs in the shop. If you're looking for a ready-to-go tea blend to add to your daily routine, I have created a perfectly balanced herbal tea. It's called Inner Peace. And the herbs that I shared with you today are the main ingredients. I'll post a link to it below the video description, but you should join the email tribe and grab up your 20% coupon before you shop. Get your coupon at transformationalhealingbydonna.com forward slash tribe. The link is on the screen and I'll also post it before below the video. Be sure to check in this Saturday for a bonus video this week to learn how you can use aromatherapy and essential oils to reduce your stress levels and calm your anxiety. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of the upcoming videos that are meant to help you always come back to a place of balance. Until next time, many blessings. See you next week.